live one-on-one conversation. Thirty minutes of pure entertainment with musicians, writers, and actors to motivate us, chefs, and even rappers to up and comings with the it factor. It's the Jesse K. War coming at ya. Monday, everyone. This is Jazzy K. Ward, and welcome to another edition of Jazzy After Dark Artist Talk. I'm your host, Jazzy K. Ward. And as always, each and every week, I anticipate uh, seeing each and every one of you. So please come in the room. Let us know where you're watching from. Of course, Chef D is here with us tonight. The one and only Dr. G, Dr. Chantel Graham. We have two special guests tonight, recording artist Julius Adams is back. It's been a long time since I talked to my brother. And of course, my sister, uh, recording artist and radio personality, Toy Toy, is also here tonight, y'all. So you know what? Let's go ahead and kick off. Uh, well, before we do that, let me bring my friend Dr. G in for a quick second. So I can check in with Dr. G real quick uh, before we get started. Can we bring Dr. G? There she is. Hello, hello, hello. How was your Thanksgiving, Jazzy? It was good, Dr. G. It went by so fast, but it was great. How about yours? It was good, but it was too short, but it was good. It was quiet. I ate a lot. I slept a little bit. I repeated as necessary, not in that order. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Well, it's so great to see you. And I, I see my friend back there near the Germinators hanging out. Then she always hanging out. She got to, you know, get a little peeking through the wall. But you know, if you know, us independent artists are always struggling. And if we get these guys to get it together and get the second edition out, Nia would be much happier. That's right. Just saying. That's right. I love Nia. Nia. And I see Sheila coming in the room. Hey Sheila. So Dr. G, are are you I'm really anticipating this show tonight. Our friend Julius Adams is here. I know Julie. I follow him. Hashtag no show on me. I know who this guy is, so I can't wait to hear him perform. I'm excited. And hi, Sheila, for being a dedicated person. We love you. Thanks for coming by, girlfriend. We love all of our followers and people that check out the show. So, Dr. G, Dr. G I'm going to see you in a second. We're going to go ahead and kick off Artist Talk right now. Live from WKRW, welcome to Artist Talk, a live one-on-one -on -one conversation with your host, the man with the golden voice, Jazzy K. Ward. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am your host, Jazzy K. Ward, and you have just stepped into what? Artist Talk, <laughs> Jazzy After Dark. Happy happy Monday, everyone. Uh, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, K. Ward Radio. Make sure you subscribe, kwardradio.com. 
is the website. Make sure you like the page, okay? Like the website. Follow me, of course, Jazzy K. Ward, all over social media. Like the page. It only takes a second, y'all. And if you don't, as we say on the show, shame on you. I hope everyone had a great holiday. Can you believe, like, the year is almost up? Okay, we just had, you know, Thanksgiving. Now we're coming towards what? We're now we have Christmas coming up. Before you know it, it's going to be the new year. So many exciting things happening in the new year. I see so many great people coming on in the room. And I'm so excited to have my brother back on the show, Mr. Julius Adams. And if you don't know Julius Adams, shame on you. He's also out with a hot new song, y'all. Well, it's inspirational. I don't want to sound like, you know, what it I'm like a rap like a, it is hot, y'all. But I mean, you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. So let me tell you a little bit about Julius before we get started. Julius Adams, you know, from a young age, Julius has loved everything from music, from writing songs, to singing, to playing instruments. As an adult, releasing his self-titled debut album in 2017, you get to know Julius Adams really through each one of those songs, y'all. He's a highly accomplished musician who hails from the beautiful city of Chicago, who has established himself as an alluring jazz genre, but he's also inspirational. He has that it factor. I mean, this brother is bad. And so, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's welcome back to Artist Talk, international recording artist, Mr. Julius Adams. <laughs> What's up, my brother? Hey, Jazzy. How you been, my man? I'm good, my brother. Good to see you. It's been, has it been a year? Yes, it's been a year. A year some change. A year some change, but we're back together again. That's the beautiful part. That's the beautiful. You know the song, Back Together. I'm trying to see. It's another another song like Back Together. Back I'm trying together. to think my mind like We're back. We're back in this thing. Good, my brother. So how, how was your Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was really good. Like I said, I wanted to eat a lot, but I couldn't. Um, I ate enough. <laughs> well, I tried to eat more, but I was broken. Uh, it's knocked me down. How was your Thanksgiving? It, you know, it was really nice. I got a chance to see a lot of family, my brothers, niece, nephews, some few friends. But it was it was really good, Julius. Thank you so much. That's what's, up. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can understand about the food, oh, you know, yeah. eating a lot, probably not so much a lot of food, but you know, you have the pies, the cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, and sometimes we eat that stuff like we have never had it before. <laughs> well, that's because it's like you wait that long. It's a sweet potato pie. It gets you every time, every time, every time it gets you. That's good. So your family's, everybody's good too? Oh man, yeah, everybody's really good. Um, Everybody's doing well, and uh, yeah, it was it was it's been it was a great time hanging with friends and family, um, mm -hmm. just kicking it, you know, like everybody does on Thanksgiving, you know, man, just doing so much, watching all the games, eating, falling asleep, you know, they get the ice as we call it, you know, as we call it the ice. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So, like, we're watching football too. Do you have a favorite? Who's your favorite football team? It's the Patriots. We're we're bad right now. But we're coming back. I don't know when, but hey, <laughs> we're coming back. Yeah, y'all, y'all coming back. I, I think. I think. Yeah, pray for us. Pray. For <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah, I think y'all coming back. I think they coming back. Yeah, we might. Jack. We might. I don't know when. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in hopes. Big hopes. Big hopes. <laughs> well, my brother. I, again, I want to say again, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to come back on Artist Talk. I think this maybe your, is this third, fourth? I say probably second, third. Well, second, maybe third, maybe second maybe, or third. Yeah. Maybe second or third. Yeah. But we, all, we always look for it. And I was like, so been wanting to catch up with you. And I know you've been doing great things. You have been working on uh, new music. You have, a, you know, I know it was kind of awkward when I said, you know, I was starting to say he has a new joint, a new track, which, <laughs> it's, it, it, it is, you know, it's but I wanted to say this before I get in that, uh, Julius, is that, you know, when I listen to your sound, and I know some people call you a gospel artist, I typically say inspirational. You also do jazz. You yes. also, 
how do you describe like your your title? Is it gospel indie artist? I would say like yeah, gospel. I mean, I wouldn't say just gospel. I try to be an all around artist. So mm -hmm. I would say it's, it is jazz. One one thing it is jazz because I love jazz and I'm always playing it. And then it's more like I would say contemporary R and B. You got world music. I do. I like doing different stuff. So especially with this new album, I'm mm -hmm. working on so many new. Things. I'm trying to be more than just one side of an artist. So Healer was one song I wanted to do. And I try to do many other songs, you know. So yeah, I would say you got that jazz, indie, gospel, you know, artists. It's all, it, it mixes around. It mixes around. Yeah, you know, it's swirling, you know. That's what, you know what I'm saying? It has so much flavor. I was always say you put a little jalapeno, you put a lot of spices in your music. And I don't like, I don't want to box you. And I don't want to say, well, no, not indie gospel artists. I see. I mean, you do inspirational music yeah. with a, with maybe, I would say, a twist of jazz. I mean, all of that is in your sound. You got gospel, yeah. you got jazz, you got a little R and B, you got a little funk, you know, a little soul. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. Because I, I love so much music, you know, and I feel like growing up, you know, in the seven. Well, I would say, <laughs> I would say, in the eighties, nineties, I heard a lot of great R and B, a lot of great songs. Then grew up listening to so much good music. I tried to add that in to give people, you know, something like a flair to give people something to listen to. So I love decorating that music and giving it a full sound so people can really enjoy it. So yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I like that. So before we get, before we go, you know, I do this little segment called The Real You. And uh, I just wanted to ask you a, a couple of questions. And my first question for you is to get, People that are new to your music, new to your sound, to know a little bit more about you outside of your professional career aspect. So my first question, would you rather be loved or feared? So, man, that's a good question. Um, Bronx Tale, great movie. And that question was asked in that movie. And I would say I want to be loved, but... And and I want to be loved, and I don't want to be feared. So I would say I want to be loved, but sometimes to get a point across, you have to be feared. But I but wanting to be loved is 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 a good thing, and I think that I can adapt to that love and uh, get around most things. So definitely want to be loved. Love. I love that. I love that. Uh, and then I have just one more question. What do you wish you had a endless supply of? Oh man. Um, I want to say wisdom. Oh, right. Because that would, be, that would be so, you, you, I mean, money will come through the wisdom, of course, but I feel that with the wisdom, I can get where I want to be. So I, I would say wisdom. Yes. A full supply. A full supply. That, that's great. I do this, uh, hey, ultimate entertainment. Um, oh, awesome entertainment. How you been, my man? <laughs> you know, I do this, you know, I post, I try to every morning before, you know, when I get up and I try to post something positive. And, and so every Wednesday I do this segment just on my posting on Facebook called Wisdom Wednesday. Yes. And I always try to post something about wisdom because, you know, with so much going on in the world, I mean, I think that's great to have an endless supply of wisdom because, you know, of course, naturally, most people think about, oh, money. Right. I just want an endless supply of money. But if you had all that money, most people think, oh, I can buy this. I can buy this. But yeah, yeah. You know, when you think about the wisdom, how rich you, you can't put a price tag on it. You can't. And that's a very important thing to to have. You know, I think that the money like the money will be there and money will come and go. And then it will probably stay. But if you have wisdom, it will stay. If you have if you have wisdom, love will stay. You know, money will stay. Friends will stay. You'll know the ones to choose. And I love how you always wake up in the morning and leave us with such positivity to get started with. That is such a joy for all of mm -hmm. us to receive as artists, as friends, as people to get. So every morning I do appreciate that you do put those up. Um, mm -hmm. It is shame on you if you're not on Jazzy Wars page. Mm -hmm. Because you definitely are missing out, like outside of everything else. Because he is definitely one of the most positive people you will ever meet and hear from. He, he's definitely trying to give you the best. So yeah, 
every morning, man. You're the best with that. Seriously. I, I appreciate that, my brother. Everybody, don't forget JuliusAdams.com is his website. His latest release is Healer. So Julius, I'm just gonna kind of right, get right into in, into it. The, my brother, it's it's been a minute. It's been I a think minute. The, was it the last song when there's love around? <laughs> yes, it was when it was love around, and we did yeah, and uh, wrapped up in you. So it was like a couple of so we yeah we right we did. So this probably is my third. This is my third. So I would say like yeah, it's been a minute. Oh my god, it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. but I've been working. So I, I won't have I got I got some new music. I know people will love it. I can't wait. Can't wait. Right. So, well, well, I'm just gonna ask you this question. So, I know you've been working, and you can't rush. I think perfection is in good sound. But my brother, what what have been taking so long? I would say when you when you work with live music, it takes a while to write. So it's the writing part. Um, me as an artist, I don't think rushing new songs mean mean a lot right now. I feel that when you do a lot of you know, like the new sound that people are doing, which I think is awesome. I think everybody's music, how their art is, is awesome. Um, I just think that we, you know, the world is a revolving door. Um, nothing is new underneath the sun, so everything kind of evolves back to its own, you know, existence. So when you do hear, like when I try to make music for me, I it takes me so long. It's, you know, you want to create something that has quality so that people can really enjoy it. I, I think this is the first time in my life where I'm starting to lay down quality music where people can receive it and like it. I may not be, you know, I got some fast songs. I wanted to release this song first because, you know, God heals us from different things. It's not just sickness, but it could be mental illness. It could be heartbreak. It could be financial destruction. It could be many things. So I kind of wrote the song in that regard. But what's been taking so long? Writing live music is a, is really hard, but I love the challenge. So I'm always a live musician. So I feel like we got to get back to that and start building music again for the youth and for, you know, for people who are coming up because I think there's a lot of electronics and that's cool. I think that's great. Yeah. But I think that we also need to, I think you can hear how great an artist is if they're not doing live music. I think it's even more in the artists that we hear now, whether it's, you know, R&B, jazz, pop, you know, um, hip hop, whatever. I think the element of live music it gives more joy, more peace because you can feel that emotion. So that's kind of like why I'm so stuck on like, hey, let's take this time and build a nice record that's going to yeah. feel, you know, that purpose. I love that. So I wanted to go back a little bit when you mentioned about live music. So what's what's the difference? So it's a difference versus when you go in the studio mm -hmm. because you have those those artists or the those artists with you when you say live music, just so yeah. our, our audience can understand. I feel like, well, it's more just the plate, the, the emplacement of the feel of the live beat, like the drums or the bass or the guitar and the horns. You get a better sound because it's because you're actually getting it from a person who's actually playing. And not saying it doesn't sound good when people do it synthetically. I just think that the naturalness of something is better. You know, you want the natural feel. And it gives better emotion. You know what I'm saying? And I think also I feel like we've gotten so far away from music because people can't do it, right. you know, because they haven't spent time doing it. It's something you have to learn. Um, but I feel that that's the beautiful part about smooth jazz. I see smooth jazz making a rise because, you know, people are listening, you know, listening to it. And then on top of that, you can't beat smooth jazz, <laughs> smooth jazz or that smooth sound because it's just something to enjoy, especially if you if you just cook and listen, you know, in the house. Everybody's gonna love, you know, Kimberly Scott, you know, or they're gonna love like, you know, listening to, you know, um, you know, Kenny G, you know, or just all these great smooth jazz artists that they have out there. Um, it's great to just take the time out to just enjoy live music. It's nothing like going to a good show. You go to a live show, pop, and I mean, I think even with Beyonce's live show is pop. When you get there, hear that live music, it it really ramps it. But it, it's really great when you make an album like that too, and uh, it fulfills. I, I love what Taylor Swift is doing as well. Like that, just you're doing that live feel, you're bringing it in. That's that's grabs people. It grabs people to give them that that emotional connection that you know they always want. You know, that's true. I was going to ask you, what, what was the what was your last concert that you attended, Julius? Man, my last concert probably was. 
Oh man. Um oh man, I'm trying to think. It's probably a year ago. Okay. Um I'm trying to think. Uh it was it was the it was like Joe Maxwell, okay. um, Charlie Wilson. Okay. Um, that, that group that those, those it was like a five artist thing. Okay. And uh, went to check them out in Indianapolis. They were powerful. It was great. It was great. Great show. Was, okay. I love that. And so, hey, everybody, I'm your host, Jazzy K. Ward. My special guest tonight is international recording artist, Mr. Julius Adams. Make sure you go over to JuliusAdams.com. It's his website. He has a new song out. It's called Healer. We're going to talk about that. We're going to have a little bit more conversation. What we're going to do now is take a short break. And uh, Julius is going to uh, perform a little something for us, and we're going to have a little bit more conversation up close and personal. Dr. G is here tonight, Dr. Chantel Graham. Also, we have another special guest, radio personality and uh, soul, Southern soul vixen, Toy Toy is also going to be with us tonight. So stay tuned. I'm Jazzy K. Ward. We'll be right back. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the show. Uh, I'm Jazzy K. War, your host for Artist Talk Jazz After Dark. We have special guests with us, none other than uh, international reporting artist, Mr. Julius Adams. Go over to juliusadams.com, is the website. Download some music, go to the website. Hey, the holidays is coming. Support these uh, recording artists. You know, it costs money y'all, for them to go in the studio, <laughs> produce these albums. It does. It does. You know, and, and and all that. So please go support. So you you know the new song Healer. You know yes. we need more healing in this world. I mean, I could come up with. I've listened to the song, but I like to get from the artist. What do you want people to take away from Healer? And why did you write this particular song? Um, I wanted people to take from Healer just that you know God is there for us, and that He will also heal you from so many broken things that you go through whether it's depression, mental illness, whether it's, you know, you know, you know, you've been financially broken or if it's actually sickness or pain or disease or stuff like that, that God is, he is there to help you. And that um, even if you don't believe in God, he believes in you and you should never give up in life, you know, because you can definitely be healed by God's touch and by his love and by uh, his spirit. So that's why I wrote this song. It's something um, I kept for me for a while to, you know, to release and do. But I felt, you know, moving in this time with so many people being broken and stuff that it was a great time to release a song like this um, with all the things we go through with COVID and different things. And not all, not all the time is it, you know, about, um, how can you say it? Like, you know, like, you do have to do healthy things. That's why I love Dr. Graham. She always touches on doing the right thing. Like sometimes our health is our, like we talked about wisdom, is taking time out to listen to those who have wisdom to help you get, um, you know, health advice that you do need. And that comes through God too. And that comes through love and that comes through kindness, you know, different things. So it's just a great song that I, I felt I should have, you know, put out there first. And to also when you release the album, I just wanted to show devotion to God. So that was just something I wanted to, uh, release and give to people. I love it, my brother. So I'm I'm gonna let you take take it away because I know you're. I mean, he's an amazing artist. Yeah. Awesome. You get a chance to hear this brother live, and you're gonna hear him right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, Mr. Julius Adams and his latest release, Heal Healer. <laughs> 
Go over to the website, JuliusAdams.com. Download your copy today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the doors of the church are open. Y'all pass the collection plate. Pass the collection plate. <laughs> I'm being silly now, y'all. I'm being silly. <laughs> what did Dr. Graham used to say back in the day? I remember what she said. We used to be in the chat room. She used to make me laugh. She used to say something all the time, but I can't remember what she used to say. It was funny. She said, we like something about the money that something, jing, jing, something jing, jingles. But when she come up, I'm sure she had, yeah, she always used to make me laugh. She used to say something. She used to make us cry. Oh man, it was so funny. Oh my goodness. There she is. There she is. <laughs> we like the con that jingles, or we rather have the con that falls. That's it. I love. It. That's right. She's the best. She's the best. Come on, she's hilarious. Oh and, my god. Uh, that that song. Who who wrote that song? You know what? Me and my mom wrote that song. Um, and we wrote that song like years ago and I just kept it. And then like, I kind of build upon it for a while. And then, um, I finally got with the right people to release it. And we just, man, it was beautiful. And all the musicians, um, that worked with me on it were mega, like Calvin Rogers, Sheree Reed, Robert Sears. They all put that together for me. Okay. Um, my manager, Andrea and everybody else and my dad, they got together with me and we just really took time out to just make it great and put it together. It was, it was cool though. It's really, it was a really fun project to do. Very fun. And everybody was so, it was, everybody was so cooperative. They, you know, the video was fun. It was very fun. Very fun. I love that. And you, you know, I wanted to ask you, you know, I don't really, a lot of times get into, you know, religion and all that, but I think this is so important is, you know, just in life and in general and on this journey, I wanted to ask you, even in your music, and I know it's inspirational and it's so uplifting, but in order to protect yourself, how important is your faith to you? Man, my faith is very, is very important, but I think that also faith is also an experience. So I wouldn't just dabble with faith. Like I know people talk about it and everybody's so quick to be like, you got to have faith, but I think faith comes from your experience. So don't be afraid to step out and do different things so that you can learn where your faith is at. I don't think you'll ever know where your faith is going to be until you take experiences. So my faith is very strong to me because I have a lot of experiences to step out 
But um, you got to take chances and do different things and try to, you know, make yourself great. Or you won't build to build faith. You can't just have faith until you actually step out and try different things. Because like I said, you know, even if you don't believe in God, God will show you he is real. And if you think you don't think God is real, you will find out that this world is not of itself and it's not of you and just you and just you and just you and your thought process and your opinion. Um, you have to step out and, and fail. You have to step out and succeed because you're gonna learn in both both sides. So faith is, is a great thing. You you need it to 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 go um to go far in life or to just whatever you want to do. You know, you got you gotta have faith to drive, you know. <laughs> in some cases, just you know, whatever. But your best thing with faith is that it's it's a learning experience. And I think that you wanna live. That's why, you know, with people who are trying to commit suicide, there's so much to life that you're gonna be happy about if you just step out. Um, having faith too early, believing in some type of faith or believing in something that's not real. Um, will will scare you and put you in fear. So, but if you have faith, you, you, you'll find out you can do things you never thought you could do. And you, you'll find out that you can go places that, that you never thought you could go. So you have to have faith because, man, it's the only thing that's going to really give you um, uh, help to move forward in everything in your life, everything. But you need it. It's 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 a, it's more important than your five cents five senses, even though you need those. Very important. I'm pretty sure Dr. Graham would be like, "Hey, we need those senses." But that faith is very important to control all that stuff. So that's true, my brother. And you know, I always say, time is not always on our side, and it looks like we just didn't have enough time, my brother. So as always, that means I hope you can stick around for the rest of the show. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I want you to also let people know your your song, uh, Healer, is available now. And where can they download and purchase the song? You can download it on, on Apple Music. Um, you can go to Spotify, listen to it all day. The website is kind of down right now because we're doing something new. So it's up and down. So you might see it pop up. <laughs> you might see it down. My, 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 my good friend. And my brother, man, he's been working on it to get it right. And so we've been trying to upload a lot of stuff. So, yeah, definitely can download it on any digital source. And Spotify, you can just throw it on there. But please check it out. Um, I'm going to have new music coming next year. Um, but I definitely, you know, yes, definitely, uh, Kenneth, definitely um, Amazon Music, um, all all on the board. But please check it out. And uh, we, we appreciate your support. We really will. As always. And uh, what's the best place to find your social media? Oh, uh, Facebook. I'm here. I'm always on Facebook, Instagram, and and TikTok. I love those three right now. Those three I'm really strong on. Um, I'll be posting all new stuff. And you, you, well, I'm starting to get stronger with YouTube. Um, so definitely head over to YouTube, Julius. Uh, um, yeah, um, if you go to, uh, I can't even say it, almost uh, Snap, not Snap. <laughs> anyway, like. Just all the social, those three, you you would definitely see it on there for sure, yeah. All right, my brother. As brother, as always, I hope you can stick around. Everybody, check out Julius Adams. His latest release is Healer. Coming up next, Julius is, of course, Dr. G is going to give us a help tip for the week, and none other than the Southern Soul Vixen herself, Toy Toy, is in the house, y'all. She gonna... is really good. Oh my goodness, yeah. You know, I know you do you do inspirational and jazz, but maybe you and Toy can collab and maybe do something together. Who knows? Oh yeah, she she's good. I love her new song. She's great for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I cheated. I'm gonna ask oh. Toy, did she cheat? Who I cheated? cheated? <laughs> Mama, I love the concept. It's sweet. You can't beat it. Sweet. <laughs> I love it, my brother. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right. Hey everybody, I'm Jazzy K. Ward. Uh, coming up next, and of course, we're going to have uh, recording artist and radio personality Toy Toy is here with us. And Dr. G is in the house for our mind, body, and soul segment. And we're going to have that coming up right now. It's time for a health and wellness check in with Dr. Chantel Graham. Tips for the mind, body, and soul. What's going I forgot on? I forgot with that theme music in the background. I forgot with that theme music playing in the back, no matter where I go. 
I wonder if that's going to work when I go to work. <laughs> I think I think it worked up today. <laughs> Listen, I love when Julius is on. He is such a great inspiration to all of us. Julius, keep doing what I'm going to do it and hashtag share his shit. People, stop dragging your feet. Don't buy the music. Get your money on Starbucks coffee. Just, just Dunkin' Donuts. I don't want to, you know, only talk about Starbucks because then I'm going to get hate mail about Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. Why you shut Dunkin' Donuts out? Whatever. Whatever you buying that's not made in your house, take that and just go to some music. That's okay? Right. Now, I had a topic that I was not thinking of. I had a different topic until Julia started singing and talking about healing and stuff. So I changed my topic. So now today we're going to play. I should have a song. So name that fool. So it's on you, Jazzy. I want to give you some clues. Let me know what you think it is. So you ready? Here go the drum roll. It's bad that my thighs sound like that, but let's go. Anyway, um, this food is an antioxidant. It promotes bone health. It uh, fights cancer. Um, it's for eyes. Your vision is good for that. And it's good for heart health. Can you name that food or should I give you a couple of clues? Uh, give me some clues. I'm going to give you three choices. So remember, eye health, good for heart health, it's an antioxidant. It fights cancer, it's good for bone health. It could be something like uh, carrots. It could be kale. Or it could be parsley. Name that one. Anybody, take a stab at it. Carrots. No. It's parsley. Now, we know we walk around and we see parsley spread on everything. It makes everything look cute because it's green and it gives it that good color. No, sorry, Kenneth, it's actually not. It is parsley. Parsley is a superfood. Parsley gives you 108% of your uh, vitamin A. It gives you 53% of your vitamin C. It gives you 547% of your vitamin K in just a half a cup. Now, does it taste great? Not, not the best, but put it in a green drink, make a smoothie, put it in a stew, put it in a soup. Remember, it's high in antioxidants and we love antioxidants. Why? Because that fights cancer. It's for bone health. They did a, a test uh, about a couple of years ago. They tested 58,000 people who put parsley into their diet and their heart disease by 38%. It's also a great diuretic. So if you haven't gone to the bathroom in a while, which you should be going every day, get your parsley. Put in the juice. It's going to help you go. It also helps break down your food and produces bile to break down the enzymes. So it's good for gastric health. So get you some parsley. It's cheap. It's everywhere. Now that I spoke about it, because I know I'm like Oprah, and I spoke about it, everybody going to go buy it. It's going to be off the shelf. So go get you some right now. Don't hesitate. Seriously. Okay. Get you some parsley. Put it in your soups. Put it in your stews. Make you some omelets with it. Put it in your brain drink. It's cheap, it's economical, has great benefits. A half a cup, once you juice it, will be like nothing. Let's go, people. Healer, as Julia said, we can heal ourselves. Right. I'm, Not I'm all the medicine you. and the pills and this and that. And I'm and listen, I believe in Western medicine. It is great for everything. However, you got these natural herbs and flowers and vegetables and plants. That can heal you. You don't have to buy this. Now, I know Ken asked about supplements. No, so just go get some parsley. You can get parsley oil and they can break it down to oil. The great thing about parsley oil, it is a great antibacterial. So it kills germs too. What more do you want? Go buy a bunch, a handful, throw it in some juice, throw it in a suck. I love it. I love it, Dr. G. And Dr. G, look. Ooh, so oh, how so wise. How can they, how can people follow you? You can follow me on Instagram. I'm Dr. Shawnee0730. You can follow me on Instagram and YouTube, Dr. Shawnee, or my website right there, theapplife.info. And don't forget my girl behind me. You know, us artists are struggling, trying these publishers and these people together. But Nia's going to have her Spanish version one way or the other. About to go hand write it myself and photocopy it. <laughs> I love it. Make sure you get that book, Nia the Germinator. And where can they purchase the book? Go to the applife.info. It's on the website. Or go to neatherjournal.com. It's on the website. Listen, it's a great stock of stuff. For, like, it's like a commercial, right? It's a great stock of stuff. For, <laughs> grab two because you got to get your own. <laughs> you got to get your own. You have to get your own. Dr. G, as always, 
We love Dr. G and Dr. G, I know you're going to get Julius Adams, but coming up next, if you have not heard of the Southern Soul Vixen Toy Toy, shame on you. Shame on me because I heard about her through your advertisement and I felt like I should have been heard about her. So I'm going to say shame on you, Jazzy, for not sharing her with me sooner. Okay. I got to blame somebody. <laughs> But now that I'm on it, you know, you know I'm going to share it. You know, now that I know about it, I'm going to share it. And you know I got to play Julius, healer. She operating room. What do you not want to hear but healer? Okay? I mean, hey, good theme music. Thank you, Julius. In fact, that's, that's the theme music for the OR. I'm playing that behind my theme music walking by. There you go. That's right. Oh, he said, here we go with the AI. Kenneth, we're not using AI. We're going to use the old fast one. They're going to do what I tell them to do <laughs> and do it quickly. And do it quickly. That's right. Yes. Gee, as always, thank you so much, my friend. And I, I know you're going to stick around for the rest of the show. Oh, I can't wait for this part. Part two. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everybody, that's Dr. Chantel Graham. Uh, my friend, Dr. G, who's out of New York City, who's here each and every Monday, mind, body, and soul. And again, I want to tell my next guest, thank you so much for patiently waiting. Uh, she's a Southern Soul Vixen toy toy. Uh, she's a true entrepreneur. She's a Southern soul artist. She's a radio personality. She's a business owner. And she's also a CEO of a nonprofit organization called Fed Moms Support Group Incorporated. And uh, she's right here, local from Montgomery, Alabama. And I'm so excited to have a conversation with this young lady. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's welcome the Artist Talk, recording artist and radio What's up, my sister? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Jazzy? I am doing good. Thank you so much for patiently waiting on me, you know, in the green room. And I, I know you have a, a lot going on. So I appreciate <laughs> you taking the time out of your busy schedule to finally have a conversation. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you so much. So how was your, your Thanksgiving? Um, full. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? What you do? Did you cook? Mm, no, I, I didn't cook, but I definitely ate very well. I ate good. <laughs> very, very good. Well, that, well, that, well yeah. that's good. And I, I, I toy, you know, you, 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 you have so many things going on. I know you have this new music, your song, heated yeah. back outside. But before we get a little bit into that, can you tell us a little bit about? you know, Toy Toy, and how your music career started for you. So, of course, you already touched on that I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, born and raised. Nice. Music was just always a passion of mine since the age of three. Growing oh. up, watching, you know, artists like Michael Jackson, Prince, Earth, Wind & Fire, Stephanie Mills, Denise Williams, Anita Baker, one of my favorite, um, nice. Whitney Houston, just music was just in my soul. So it was only destined for me to be an artist in the music world. Right. I love that. I was going to ask you, did you grow up with a lot of music in your house? I did. I did. I grew up in church. I remember doing my first church solo when I was eight years old. So mm -hmm. um, music was just a passion of mine. <laughs> that. You were, you, so you remember that? You remember the song you sung? I time? do. I do. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. They said I wouldn't amount to anything. So that was my first church solo at eight. So I will never forget that. <laughs> but you know what? I think that's a perfect, like, look at you now. Yeah. Look at all the amazing things yes. you have accomplished. You pers persevered through all of that. Maybe I'm yes. sure all of us have had ups and downs, yes. challenges. Yes. And haters and everybody blocking and trying to block, but you you have to keep going, right? Yes, yes. And a lot of that's still going on now, but hey, I definitely keep going. You you, you definitely have to keep going. So when yes. we when, when we talk about music, and not only is she a recording artist, y'all, you're also a radio personality. So let people know how, how did you break into the radio personality career? It's crazy because I didn't have a background in the radio. Didn't go to school for it, any of that. Um, I started out in sales at Blue Water Broadcasting. 
I couldn't sell a bean pie. <laughs> Even though people thought, you know, hey, you got the look to sell things, but I just didn't really, I don't think I put forth the personality to really get out there and sell. Like, it's just, it made me nervous a little bit. You know, sales just was not my thing. So um, I actually got laid off. Okay. But I was in sales for a year in the um, building. So that whole year I was in there, every day I walked in the door, I would look in the booth and be like, that's where I really want to be. Like, I really don't want to do this sales, miss. Like, I don't want to be in that booth, you know. <laughs> Music was in my soul. So I'm like, that should be easy for me to learn. So I kept, once I got laid off, I went up to the station every day and volunteered to help. Okay. I volunteered to pop up at remotes to help out with the remotes. I just volunteered and I stayed on my program director's butt, DJ Fresh. And I bugged him so much to finally one day I got a call and said, are you serious about being on the radio? I was like, as serious as a heart attack. He was like, well, if you come up here every day and train, I'm going to let you do it. Wow. Fast forward three months, maybe four months of training. I got called in one day saying, hey, you're on your own now. Do your thing. And here it is eight years later. Wow. Can you believe <laughs> You know, our story is a little similar is when okay. it's been almost 30 years since I've been at WVAS. Okay, almost congrats. I've been there at that station. And I remember to I met Dr. Stewart. I wanted to, you know, to be honest with you, I I used to always kind of envy artists. I mean, radio personalities like yourself with the style. And I wanted to be on 97.9. I wanted to be on Hot 105. <laughs> I wanted to be on all those stations. And people was like, well, Corey, why, like, why aren't you on there? So it's like, people would listen to me like, man, I like you. I don't think you yeah. fit. I don't think you fit this format. And, you know, at first you really? kind of, yeah, it's like, I don't think you fit. Like, I love listening to you on the jazz station and then i thought well should i try to change my style should i i mean i'm laid back but yeah. you know i can adapt and change to whatever i need to change to but exactly yeah you know then i feel like well you know what there's a lane for all of us yep and that doesn't mean just be that did you fail because you may not be here you may not be over there i think we just yeah. have to all find our lane yeah. and you know, that's just kind of what I've been doing. And same thing. I volunteered over there for three or four months. They train. Are you serious about being on the radio? I did that toy. And one day they were training me. They just left me in the booth by myself. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. That's what happened to me. Yes. You do. Okay. I love that. And so I mean, before we get into so, for it. just, just, just thankful for that. Yeah. So the Southern Soul Vixen. Tell us, how did that name come? Um, so of course, Southern Soul is the music that I'm giving out. Vixen came because I knew Vixen stood for a fierce woman, and I always felt like I was that a fierce woman. It also stood for uh, sexually attractive. I've always thought that I was sexually attractive. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for all that. Okay. <laughs> But also it says, you know, um, ambitious, you know, just outrageous at times. And I can be that at times. Like I'm real laid back, funny. I'm humble, hardworking. And I just love to laugh. Like I don't like to really indulge in anything, you know, crazy or, you know, violent, like anything like. So I'm just real humble and laid back. So Vixen, it just worked. And, you know, I called my manager one day. Uh, the label that I'm with is called Face Facts Music Group. I called my manager one day and was like, hey, what do you think about Southern Soul Vixen? And he was like, you know what? I, I think that works for you. Right. I like that. So, I like I always wanted to ask you, and I think the few times we do talk, I was like, whenever we have a conversation, I'm going to ask her. Yeah. What, you know, the Southern Soul I mean, of course, I knew what Vixen, my yes. definition of Vixen, but then you may have had a different definition of your you know terminology of vixen so i mean it definitely toy fits you yeah i feel i feel it does yeah and i already knew that there was probably a southern soul queen out there a southern soul princess so i wanted to just and some people wanted me to go with just toy toy you know it's my radio name they wanted me to kind of keep that connection but i was like i got to add something to it you know um and something that would be different you know kind of out of the way from the other southern soul artists 
uh, right. and Dixon just worked for me. So, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Love that. And uh, so this new song, and I want to play the video too. Okay. And the song, I Cheated. Tell us, yes. did you write that? Is is that, you know, I'm having to ask you, is that a true story? Is that, you know. So it's not a true story. I don't condone cheating, okay? But I'm going to just say this. Men tend to push women to the point to where they actually think about cheating now. They really do. I was one of those women. I got married at 16. So I got married at a very young age. A lot, you know, has gone on in my life. So you, you, you really contemplate it at times when you feel like, you're being cheated on so much. But uh, I actually wrote that song, me and King South. We wrote that song together. Okay. Okay. Uh, and when we wrote it, I just fell in love with it. And I felt like, you know what? We think this sometimes. We do, you know? Especially when you are in a situation where you feel like you're being tested. Every time you keep giving somebody another chance to get it right and they keep playing with you, you're like, you know what? I'm going to give you a dose of your own medicine, you know? So right. why not? <laughs> When I listened to the lyrics of the song and you said, <laughs> you say that part about Etta James Blind. <laughs> just, just like you got to be blind to be Etta James. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be. You got yes. to be. And believe it or not, a lot of women turn the blind eye to a, a lot of the things they see going on in their relationships. They do. They so, do. hey. Okay. I love that. So, hey, we're, we're going to check out the video and then we're going to have a little bit more conversation from recorded recording artist yes. Toy Toy. And also her website is also uh, streaming at the bottom of the, the screen. Make sure you go, it, it's available on Spotify too, right? Wherever music is streaming. My music is everywhere. Um, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Tidal, Pandora. I Everywhere you want to stream music is there. Okay, we love it. So, so hey everybody, make sure you share the video. And let's check out uh, Toy Tour, her latest uh, video, I Cheated, right here on Artist Talk. I'm Jazzy K. Wu. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't know why, why the hell I even fuck with you. I done washed your clothes, I even cooked your food. Baby, go on and pack your bags, cause I'm so done with you. My girlfriend said you ain't shit. She saw you Friday night, creeping at a Motel 6, but I couldn't get mad, cause I've been creeping too. The next door neighbor got a head on his shoulders and he knows how to use it too. Lord knows I tried to be a down ass chick. But boy, you crossed the line when you gave away my good shit. You cheated on me, so I cheated on you. Sometimes I don't know why. Why the hell I even fuck with you? I done washed your clothes. I even cooked your food. Baby, go on and pack your bags, cause I'm so done with you. You cheated on me, so I cheated on you. Sometimes I don't know why, why the hell I even fuck with you. I know it was wrong, but it felt so right. Now he ain't no certified plumber, y'all, but he knows how to lay the pie. He was putting it on me, when you was creeping on me. Two can play that game, baby boy. So now we both got a sneaky link. See, I used to be a good girl, but you turned me bad. I gave you all that I had. Pack your bags, I'm so done with that. You cheated on me, so I cheated on you. Sometimes I don't know why. Why the hell I even fuck with you? I done washed your clothes, I even cooked your food. Baby, go on and pack your bags, cause I'm so done with you. See, I used to be a good girl, but you turned me bad. I gave you all that I had. Pack your bags, I'm so done with that. You know the saying, do unto others how you want them to do unto you. You know, and I for an eye. <laughs> Hell, even a tooth for a tooth. Be 
careful how you treat me. I always get my leak back. Face the facts. It's the Southern Soul Dixon. Hey. Yeah, the song <laughs> me to it. You know, it has a vibe. And, you know, and I'm sure when people, so when people listen to your music, brother, what do you want them to take away from Toy? Um, just the creativity side, the fun side, uh, just wanting to give people music they can vibe to, relate to, and, right. you know, just really enjoy. Yeah, just enjoy. That's right. That's what, yeah. that's, that's what, that's what music does. But, uh, there's the, the site, everybody, you can go. Uh, to that website. Wherever music is streaming, you can download the song. Also, Toy has a new release out called Back Outside. Back and Outside. We, tell us, what, what is Back Outside about? It's basically basically about being back outside once you done called off that relationship and you done got tired of being played with and played over. You back outside and you enjoying life right now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Like, I cheated. I'm back, you know, back outside, y'all. Yes. There you go. Yes. And Toy says she's not condoning that, you know, but hey, I don't, I don't. She don't condone that, but you know, I don't, I don't, but ain't nothing wrong with getting your lick back every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like that. Listen, so they can definitely check out uh back outside the streaming on all major platforms, also. Um, the video is on YouTube, Face Facts Music Group, of course. And I have a show coming up, Valentine's Day, at the mm -hmm. Garrett Coliseum, February 3rd. Right. Yes. Definitely check me out there. Um, and on social media, I'm everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, Southern Soul Vixen Toy Toy. Okay. Loving it, loving it. Okay, I love it. And you know, Toy, I, there's, you should write a book. You know what? I hear that a lot because I, I, have, a, I have a lot to talk about. I really do. <laughs> you know, and, and I know, you know, again, time is not always on our side, but you're a nonprofit organization, the Fed yes. Mom Support Group. Can you talk yes. about that real quick, please? Yes. So my nonprofit I've had now for about five years um, is basically for um, to help formerly incarcerated inmates um, to get back on their feet. Uh, also, we help the homeless. We help the uh, under underserved families. So every year I have a turkey drive. I have a backpack drive. I have a Christmas drive. Um, I also give back to the homeless every week. So it's just it just feels good to be able to give back and, you know, to um, be able to help the community. So that's big on my heart. Um, and I just love doing it. So definitely make sure you guys check that out. Fedmoms.org. Look out for our next community event because we are definitely always giving back. OK, because I was going to ask you that because I'm sure people are going to ask me, like, how can they support the nonprofit? fedmoms.org. You can find out everything right there on the website. Okay. And I'm sure when, you know, you posted and because I follow you too, that mm -hmm. uh, posted and people can uh, uh, support. So Kenneth, it's, it's fedmoms. F-E-D. F-E-D-M-O-M-S dot org. Dot org. Appreciate Kenneth. And Kenneth, there was a comment there. I don't know, Chef, if you can go back. And I think he was saying, so he didn't know if you remembered him. I can't see the comments, I guess, from a video. Uh, I don't know, Chef, if you see that comment that that, that Kenneth. Uh, yeah, because I don't see it. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see it. Uh, Toy, I danced with the ladies from Baton Rouge at your show at B.B. King. I don't know if you if you remember that toy. Ooh, I'm trying to remember Baton Rouge. B.B. King's. Yeah. It's not ringing the bell, but I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and let people know where they can listen and catch you also on the radio. So, of course, um, I'm on Middays, 97.9 Jams, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day. Also, 100.5 Classic Jams. 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day. That's our classic jam station. And of course, definitely make sure you guys download and stream my music. I Cheated Back Outside is on all major platforms. Check out right. the video, YouTube, Face Facts, Music Group, my label. And hey, definitely follow the journey because 
it's gonna be a ride and i'm excited is there any before we let you go and uh is there anybody that you would love that's like on your bucket list that you maybe want to co-write with or maybe do a duet with any artists? King, King George, of course. <laughs> yeah. I would love to do one with West Love. Definitely and too. speaking of that, I do have a single coming out that I'm dropping Valentine's Day. Okay. I have a feature with Adrian Bagger. Wow. Awesome. Yes. So I have a feature with Adrian Bagger that's dropping Valentine's Day. So y'all look out for that. Okay, we're gonna look out for that too. And Kenneth said he remembers your karaoke shows. Did you still do the karaoke show? I'm actually getting ready to start back doing the karaoke shows in Wetumpka, Alabama, at the Ranch Multiplex. So y'all look out for that real soon. Okay. Again, everybody, make sure you toy. The, you have a lot, lot going on. A lot of things yeah. happen. Let's support these indie recording artists, y'all. It's very important. And real quick, if I can bring Julius back in. If Julius is right, I want to introduce him to, to Toy and okay. uh, we bring Julius uh, uh, upcoming events is listed in the chat for those who go back and watch the replay. Uh, but you can also catch this on my YouTube channel. You can catch this on the Roku Network and Soul TV. Julius Adams. Beautiful. The you, that was a great song for real. She tore that up. I Thank love you. the video. It reminded me of uh, Vivica Fox and... Uh, uh, the, the video remind me of um, what was the name of that movie? Uh, Two can play that game. Okay. <laughs> you look good. You look good in it. Like you was killing it for real. I Thank love you. Very Thank beautiful. You. Very beautiful. Very Thank beautiful. you. Well, if you guys like that video, you'll definitely like the video with me and Adrian Bagger because we've all, we've already shot that video. So I'm not gonna release it until Valentine's. Oh, okay, awesome. That's gonna be good. <laughs> for real. For real. Yeah. So, Doctor 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 Graham, you know, I cheated. I listen, I'm the same man next time is going to be 32 years. I do not condone cheating, but I am uh, going listen. to do it. I'm okay, going to do it. Some I cheated, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Prove it. But we all go through that. And, it, and people understand, it's, it's music. Music just does so much. It's going it to bring that. It's going to help with tears. It's going to help with healing. And you got to laugh at yourself. Because this yes. is... Now, I know I shouldn't play this in the operating room, but you know I am? Because you know I don't know how to act. <laughs> I, I know it. Right. <laughs> I, I don't even understand people's shit. So when I go, oh, I'm going to hit the play button. What is that? Just listen to it. Because it could have been something else. Look, <laughs> so, like, I can't put the video on a projector inside the operating room. I'm not going to go that far. But you know I would if I could. Right. Dr. Graham, make sure you check out the song Back Outside. I think you'll like that one. I'll be back outside rather we cheated. This is go together. <laughs> right. And then Julia said you're gonna need a healing after all this stuff. You, you know, so. we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna pray for you. We're gonna pray for you. We're gonna come together in my moment. But it all works. It all works together. See, look at that. Won't God do it? Won't he do it? God is good. Yeah. Won't he will? Thank God so for forgiveness. Jesus. That's right. So, Julius, you know, any closing, like someone watching this video, they, they want to follow you in the same footsteps on this journey that you've been on in this entertainment world. Any advice you can give them? Um, to follow my music or follow me? like Oh, you know, just in, following you like in, in your path as a recording artist. That it's, it's not always easy, right? It's not easy. I would say that if you got passion for it to do it and you really want, you really have a passion to to keep doing it and press into it and to do it because you never want to give up on your dreams and the things that you want to do. Uh, you want to, you know, fulfill your purpose at it. And it is, it is, you know, hard, but your art is important. It's important. Right. For you. It's important for your mental health too. It's important for your whole lifestyle that you find yourself to grow and be where you want to be at. So it's very important for you to head that way and to, you know, to be a part yeah. of it, no matter what. Yeah. It is. Julius just makes it look easy. Julius just is a humble guy. He just makes it look easy. Right. <laughs> it's easy. It's not as bad, you know. But it's <laughs> it's, it's it. it you, you just need to lead, you need to listen to people. Okay. You need to listen to people. That's the main thing. Listen okay. to people and don't be arrogant. Like and 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 respect people's art. Like for real. Don't don't disrespect people's journey, and then on top of that, like grow in your own thing. Because right. if you're different, you're different. It's cool to be different. Um, 
Yeah. Some people are bad. Some people are bad. But you can get better if you just keep, you know, listen to people and then grow. That's what I say. Grow. But mm-hmm. I mean, you're we telling can me get- no matter how I sound, if I keep back, so I'm gonna be able to sing sound, I'm gonna sound real good when I keep singing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know Chef D is I would just be a songbird for the Lord. I would keep it in the background. I know I know my limits. I think it's well, everybody know that. Yeah, it's true. Everybody got limits. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, was, I was asking Julius, uh, uh, any advice or wisdom that you can give? I'm sure, you know, some artist, some young lady growing up, oh, God, I, I like Toy. I like what she's doing. You know, she's on the radio. She's a music artist. Any advice? words of wisdom advice because i'm sure in this entertainment y'all make it look so easy but behind the scenes we don't always know what goes on behind the scenes educating yourself knowing your business any advice you can leave us with um never give up i've always been determined and motivated i've just been one of those kids growing up just a short story. I gra- I dropped out of high school my 12th grade year. I got married at 16, pregnant my 12th grade year, and I dropped out. But my dream had always been to graduate. Like I, It was just a thought of walking across that stage. I really didn't even care about the diploma. So mm-hmm. after I gave birth to my son, my only son, mm-hmm. I waited a year and a half, and I went back to Robert E. Lee School. I reached out to Mr. Skipper, who was still the principal at the time. I reached out. I was like, I would love to come back and finish my 12th grade year. It's just something about walking across that stage. And I made it happen. I made it happen at 20. I think I was going on 21. I made it happen because it was always my dream to graduate. Wow. Such a. And I tell people all the time, never give up. You can be thinking today is the end of the world, but it's not, you know, because Mm -hmm. I've actually been through some things in my life. And if you read my bio, you know, you know, Um, and I never gave up. I never gave up. And I'm just determined to succeed. So here I am. I love that. And that's what I said, Toy, you need to consider down the line writing that book. And, you know, I mean, motivational speaking. I mean, you have a story to tell that I think would be so inspiring. I would definitely love to get into motivational speaking. Maybe you can help me out with that. We can, we can, def- I'll be happy to help you. Uh, yeah. my friend. Uh, again, I want to thank you, uh, thank Toy you. Julius Adams, you both coming on, continued success to you both. And uh, like I said, I'm just putting it out there, you know, Julius, Toy Toy, a song together, you know, Julius playing on something or whatever. <laughs> I'll jump on something with Toy anytime, especially with the cheating on me. I like the cheating on me song. <laughs> Makes me think of, uh, what's the name? I should have cheated. Yeah, Keisha Cole, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's how I felt when I heard that song back then, too. Oh, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I really appreciate you, Jazzy. I really appreciate you. Um, you know, I've been following you for a while now. I could, I really love what you're doing. ASU Radio, hey, ASU, that's my fam. Like, Dr. Oliver, he's my mentor. I love everything about what you're doing, and I appreciate you for having me on. I really I appreciate you both. And I was going to say, you know, if you're ever in Chicago, Julius is right there in Chicago. Uh, if you ever do a show there in Chicago. So they, who knows? Maybe I'll, be Julius. I'll, go, I'll go check her spot for sure. Well, it's definitely on my bucket list because I've never been. So, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> you will love it. She will love it. For real. Julius. Yeah. Any final words, Dr. G? Nope. I like Julius. It's too cold. Nobody want to come to Chicago, Julius. It is 28 degrees in Chicago right now. It's cold. Look, it's cold. Yeah. But see, you get used to it. But see, I like it. I'm a big dude. I'm a big guy, so it doesn't bother me. I love I love cold weather. I love like it snowed a couple of days ago. I put a video up. I went out and I started, I played some Michael Buble. People show it on Instagram when he's shoveling the snow. He out in the snow. He loves snow. Yeah, I love it. It's my thing. Yeah, okay. okay. But my mic is ready. So if I'm y'all ready, you know, you need a backup singer. Listen. Oh, I, I'll take you in the day. Yes, uh, that part. In the day, Ms. Uh, yeah, 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 I promise y'all, y'all want to hear that. I'll just be in the background. <laughs> I'll give you some fake background. You know, I can always find somebody <laughs> to sing and then you just do the act. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll Okay. Like, 
And then people say you didn't do. I'm like, she did sing that. I'll tell people. Millie Vanilli. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you just made a point earlier. You know, mental health is a great thing. Right now, I'm just going to say this: people check on your strong friends. The holidays yes. are here. People are losing their loved ones. People yeah. are not here anymore. And a lot of people that you know that are strong won't say anything. And I don't. I don't tell send them a text. And call them. Pick up a phone. Just call. Them, say, hey, I'm thinking about you. You need anything? I'm just here for you. So check on your small friend, your, your strong friends. Be prepared for these holidays. It's hard for a lot of people out here during the holiday season. You know, I lost my dad the day after Christmas. Matter of fact, one hour and 41 minutes after Christmas. It's been two years, but it's still hard, you know. So check on those strong friends, check on your people. Just, just, you know, and, and, and check on yourself. Do a little self-reflection because if you're a person that keeps doing and going and giving, you don't need much for yourself. So, so just do that. That's beautiful. And then remember... Holidays uh, coming, you know, eat, drink as much as necessary, repeat as much as you can and not in that order, but check on your store for it. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Uh, again, another great show. Again, uh, Southern Soul Vixen, Toy Toy. Uh, make sure you check her out. International recording artist as well, producer, songwriter, Julius Adams. Check out these amazing artists. It's all about support, y'all. The song is a dollar ninety nine five dollars. It, it it's not gonna break y'all or whatever. Yeah. Ninety nine cents. <laughs> ninety nine cents. It's not gonna <laughs> you know, go please support one these. Shot from Dunkin' Donuts or, or Starbucks, just take one less espresso shot and buy the music. <laughs> That's true though. I mean, man, you're right. You share my shit. Share my shit. That's why we ain't rich now because I ain't share our shit. <laughs> <laughs> it only takes a second. Really? You know, we, that's a whole nother show. That's I mean, a yeah, whole yeah. Show. That's that's a whole be on TV for yeah. real. She is hilarious. She's hilarious. <laughs> but again, thank you all both. Continue success to both to each and every one. And whatever I can do in my small little corner, uh, you definitely have my support. And uh, just keep doing what you, you're doing. And I know the Grammys are coming from for, for both of you. And the book too, Doctor G. Yes. We're gonna have the best producer on the Grammy, so we won't we gonna still win, don't matter. Yes. That's good. Well, you all have a, a good night and, and we'll talk real soon, okay? Y'all well, thank, thank you. Care, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Right. You too. Good night. Hey everybody, again, another great show. Again, thank you to Chef D, Dr. Chantel Graham, Dr. G as always, and thank you to each and every one of you that come on the show, that share the videos. Trust me, I, I see you. Sometimes I may not say anything. The comments are going so fast, but trust me, I see it uh, in, in my heart. And I want to thank each and every one of you. K-Ward Radio is my YouTube. Make sure you go and subscribe and like the page. kwardradio.com is the website. Uh, if you would like to mail me some information, that contact information is there. If you would like to support the show, uh, Cash App, PayPal, all that is there. Join me each and every Saturday on 90.7 WVAS, Alabama State University. Hey, Ms. Maryland. Hey, Ron. Uh, you can hear me every Saturday from 8 until 12 noon Central Standard. I hope you all have a great rest of the week. May remember, make sure you smile. You never know how that may impact someone's life or just during the day. It doesn't hurt to just smile. Even if you don't say anything, it goes a long way. So have a great week. We'll see you next time right here on Artist Talk. Good night. Hi, this is saxophonist D. Lucas, and you have just watched Artist Talk with my man, Jazzy K. Ward. Hey, check him out every Monday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time on his Facebook Live or YouTube. And if you don't, shame on you. Mm, mm, mm. Artist Talk. Yeah.